What's the difference between man and meat, a live body and a dead body? Not the matter. It's all still there after death. The energy? No, a dead body isn't discharged like a dead battery. The body's complex organization? No, a dead body isn't suddenly simpler. Its mass, charge, or volume? No, death isn't a change in any physical or chemical property. So what else could it be? The intuitive answer is that a live body has some added magical element, a spirit or soul. But that's just a placeholder name. Naming isn't explaining. It's like saying a car has a go-y thing in it that makes it go. Scientists do know better when they say that a live body has will or agency. Naming isn't explaining. For all the knowledge they've amassed, scientists still don't have an explanation for the difference between a live and dead body. Scientists know lots about how the living behave, but still don't know what living is or how it started at the origins of life. The difference between a live and dead body is neither mere meat nor added magic, and yet the difference is undeniable. Terry Deacon, a Berkeley neuroscientist, has a new answer to this old mystery. Not just meat, and not something added. Here's the gist of it, starting with the familiar. To be productive, you keep yourself from dithering. You stay focused. The less time you waste doing worthless or counterproductive things, the more productive you are. That's self-discipline, not something added, but self-imposed constraint. You see something similar in organizations, different employees and teams keeping each other productive by preventing each other's non-productivity, a kind of internally imposed constraint. Being alive is like that. It's neither meat nor something added to meat, but the way the meat prevents its own counterproductivity. Living beings regenerate their ability to regenerate themselves, not because they have some magical self-regeneration gizmo added, because their interactions prevent degenerative interactions. Life had to start as a self-regenerative bias against degeneration. Deacon has a model for just that, how simple chemical reactions happen to prevent their own otherwise likely degeneration. I explain his model in my new book, Neither Ghost Nor Machine, The Emergence and Nature of Selves, and in other videos coming up next.